Clash of Smash was Oh, oh, James Rolfe. I almost forgot about James Rolfe. Cinemassacre. Oh, Cinemassacre was the bomb. And it still is. Monster Madness is coming up soon in October. He made... What is my purpose in life? Well, I've been thinking about this for a while and mulling it over and thinking about all the complexities and philosophical reasons a person could possibly exist or the reasons that God could have created me. But really, in a more philosophical, wider, universal sense, I think utilitarianism speaks a lot about what my specific purpose is. Honestly, I have a view of myself that I feel like I am worth inherently more if I am bringing joy to the most amount of people, bringing joy in a much heavier sense than any, then, I don't know, just, just bringing the most joy into the world. And, you know, bringing myself joy as well is something that's important, but also not as important as it is to bring other people joy. You know, my, my purpose is when I'm walking around, I make people laugh. I make people feel good. I make jokes constantly in conversations. I try to lighten the mood when difficult things are happening. I, I try to bring people desserts when they're crying. I, I just want everyone to be feeling like it's a constant party because if everybody does the right thing, then the earth can feel like a constant party. Human beings have a natural desire to find happiness for themselves. And if I can help them along on that mission, on that guide in life, that's my purpose in life. But on a much more closed off and selfish sense, you know, my ultimate goal I don't know, is to be creative, you know? I, 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 wanna, I wanna get out there, soar off into the sky. I wanna create as much content as I can. I wanna write that book that I, well, I already wrote the book. I'm editing it now, but I wanna publish it. I wanna get the, I wanna, I wanna make more memes. I wanna, you know, experience the publicity of it all. I wanna experience the wider world. I wanna make it to Toronto. I wanna move to Toronto eventually. You know, get more involved in other creative type people. And yeah, that's, that's fun. And eventually, once I'm rich and in my 30s and living an ideal life, I want to buy a house. I want to buy a house with a pool in the backyard. That's a little bit more my purpose. You know, just hanging in the backyard, finding a family, settling down, and just living it up in that pool. Barbecuing in the backyard, having the sweet times, cuddling my spouse, having a wonderful life full of joy and bringing joy to as many people as possible. Really, my whole purpose is joy. Do you have a favorite musical artist or concert experience? Well, yeah, I've been to a lot of concerts over the years, but recently I was to a Discord concert, you know, and that was a metal show and it was my first time experiencing it. And they brought me into the garage and I was like, right next to them as they were playing and I could feel the music like inside my chest and it was this awesome experience like I finally understood what the point of metal is and I was like dancing and having such a fun time and they gave me a free sticker and it was awesome. I bought like five of their CDs the next time I was at the CD store and I was like yes! Yes, I listen to metal all the time in my car. I already had Metallica Ride the Lightning CD from, you know, a few years ago. I bought it and I, I, I heard the song, just happened to hear it, and I was like, hey, that's a really good song. So I've been into that for a while. And then I heard Discord, so I bought more Metallica CDs and like a bunch of stuff. And I've been listening to, uh, <laughs> I've been listening to, uh, folk punk for a while so Chad hates George I've been listening to them for a long time Velvet Underground uh, Violent Femmes uh, and I've been going back in time and listening to you know punk rock you know um, The Who The Who oh, I just started listening to The Who recently and it, it is awesome you know there's this song Pinball Wizard it is hilarious I love the idea of it that deaf dumb and blind kid sure plays a mean pinball that thing has been in my car CD player for weeks. I love it. I, I love listening to The Who over and over again. I love listening to these songs and getting really familiar with them and yeah, I've had a lot of experiences with that. I, <laughs> I saw Green Day live in concert once and they were cool. They were cool. I, uh, <laughs> I went there with friends and we bought a we brought a cooler full of soda and we just sort of walked around with it and then eventually I um I wandered away from our group and they were like looking for me the whole concert but then I was just there you know rocking out jumping around and stuff the whole time and they were like where the heck have you been and I was like whoa <laughs>
<laughs> it was fun. And um, yeah, I went to a Home Free concert with my aunt once. That was that was fun. I, I've always been a, a beatboxer, right? So it was cool to see like people, you know, really good at beatboxing and acapella stuff, and like how like I don't know to see it live in person was really really cool, you know? Yeah, those are probably my top three. What video games do you play, or what video games have you played? You know, I have been a huge Pokemaniac my entire life, and that has been a huge part of my story. I started out with Pokemon Yellow, then I did Pokemon Diamond. You know, there was a few years where I didn't play video games there, but then, uh, you know, I did Yellow, then Diamond, then I went back for Emerald and Leaf Green, then I played Ruby while I was there, and then we went forward, Black and White, X and Y, uh... <laughs> Oh man, I did basically all of them except for Sun and Moon. Uh, you know, I've been recently getting back into it. I actually I didn't do the Galar games. That I did. Uh, I skipped those two generations. Went straight to um, yeah, uh, Scarlet and Violet. And I, uh, I got a I got a Nintendo Switch from my aunt for Christmas, which was really nice. And that came with Pokemon Scarlet, and I loved it. I loved it, so that kind of reignited my passion, and now I've got Let's Go Pikachu, and I've been playing that again, and, I mean, I've been playing that for the first time, and now I've got, I, I recently bought uh, Legends Arceus at, um, at a pawn shop for 59 bucks, which was pretty cool, and, uh, yeah, I've, uh, I got that, and I'm going to play that once I'm done with Let's Go Pikachu, and, you know, with that Nintendo Switch, I also got Super Smash Bros. Uh, Ultimate, and Super Smash Bros. Ultimate was a big deal for me and uh, Jeffrey. Jeffrey and I, huge, you know, fighting game fans, you know, we were fighting the crap out of each other all the time, doing all these fun little things with it, we unlocked all the characters together, that was so friggin' fun! And I remember back in the old days, when I was a kid and I had this big group of friends, you know, we used to play Super Smash Bros. Brawl on my Wii all the time, every time they came over to my house, we were like, yeah, let's play, let's fight each other! And there was only four controllers, but there were seven of us, so we had to alternate. Whoever lost that round, like, whoever, like, was in fourth place, would be like, no! Oh, I have to get on my controller. But it was never, like, there were three guys. You know, one of us was really smart, the other one played video games all the time, and the third one was me. And then, you know, I don't know what made me so special, but, you know, everyone else was, you know, kind of a loser. So they didn't have much video game knowledge or video game time, so they would be like, the ones that were always rotating and the three of us were always playing constantly and it was like why don't you switch out why don't we give someone else a turn it's like nah man nah man it's got to be the loser got to be the loser that gives it up so <laughs> you know we had a lot of fun experiences but i paid for the chips and pops so on honestly i should have got the, com the control all that time even if i did lose but i did eventually give it up anytime i lost so how are you so awesome and which youtubers are your favorite so a mainstay for a long time for me has been Drothy. I found them in 2015 when they were just starting out as a Facebook show and I kept track of them all the way until they lost Caldwell, until they got Julia and Jacob and Karina. And Karina may be a late addition, but she is a standout. We love Karina. And <laughs> it's just such a great show. It's this improvisational drawing show. If I can recommend you watch anything, I'd recommend them. I also love MJ TV. You guys know I'm a Pokemaniac and I've been watching him and he's got a friend, PM7, and I've been getting into his content because they're collaborating and Oh man, there's a lot, of, a lot of great ones. Sugar, uh, Sh Sugar, Sh is, is her name? Candy Evie, that's who I'm thinking of. Sugar is an animator. Candy Evie is kind of an animator and Poketuber, and she makes really good content, you know, where she, you know, hunts for shinies or she buys Pokemon products. And yeah, that's, I've been watching a lot of her lately, and who else is really good? You know, I, I, was, a big, I was a big YouTube guy for a really long time. Uh, Ross Creations is fun. Uh, he makes prank videos. Uh, you know, he does like really like high-end, expensive prank videos with like complex things, and a lot of his stuff is really funny. Danny Duncan is great. Uh, he's he's very you know actiony, you know sporty guy. I think he was a professional skateboarder before he got into YouTube, and now he does real estate because he got rich from YouTube, and then you know kind of put that money into smart investments and. And he's actually a really good guy that gives really great advice. Uh, if you want to learn how to be a good YouTuber, or, you know, make smart investments. He's he's got a lot of good stuff to say, <laughs> and he's just kind of funny, you know. He's he's he makes entertaining content. 
Um, that's good to watch. Clash of Smosh was... Oh! Oh! James Rolfe! I almost forgot about James Rolfe! Cinemassacre! Oh, Cinemassacre was the bomb! And it still is! Monster Madness is coming up soon in October. He makes... Uh, he, he reviews a different horror movie every day for the entire month of October. Oh! Cinemassacre! I almost forgot about him! You know, my best friend and I, when we were kids, we loved Angry Video Game Nerd. Every single episode would be like, Dude, did you see the new episode of Angry Video Game Nerd came out? And then we'd be like, I'd be like, yeah! Yeah, it was so friggin' hilarious! We loved Angry Video Game Nerd! And then when I found out he was doing board game reviews, that was fun! And then, and then uh, we found out about Monster Madness, and we were like, yeah! And that really ignited my passion for horror movies. Oh. James Rolf! James freaking Rolf! Aw, oh, man. What is your favorite color? Well, this is actually a, surprising, a surprisingly complex answer. Because for the longest time, it was blue. Because me and my best friend, we were like, we looked kind of similar in elementary school. So we decided, hey, I'm going to wear blue all the time, and he's going to wear red, right? So... I, my, my favorite color kind of had to be blue because all of my t-shirts were blue, my jeans were blue, he wore, you know, dark blue jeans, I wore light blue jeans, uh, and he wore red t-shirts, I wore blue t-shirts, and, you know, eventually we kind of went our separate ways, like, senior year of high school, we were, like, you know, drifting apart a bit, and then he went off to college across the country, and then I stayed here, and then, you know, as time went on, I started wearing different stuff, I started wearing green, started wearing eventually red, because he wasn't around anymore, so, and we really didn't look alike at all near the end of high school, so there was really no point in doing the blue-red divide thing, so I was like, hey, I'm gonna start wearing red again, I'm gonna start wearing red again and yeah i started it and i feel like i look really good in red i feel like i look like really really good in red like i was kind of doing myself a disservice by wearing blue all those years but red isn't my favorite color like i'm going into it green is a lot of my favorite color i'm a water guy so blue is a strong stay but honestly give me a teal give me like a seafoam green and that can honestly be quite beautiful you know uh Honestly, if I could pick like a pretentious favorite color, I'd say it's teal. Teal is probably my favorite color. Maybe cyan. Teal, but yeah. Blue, green, teal, cyan. Those are some heavy favorites.